I'm an assistant professor of pediatrics at the University of Pennsylvania and a pediatric oncologist or cancer specialist at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I spend about 20% of my time in the clinic taking care of sick patients and about 80% of my time doing research. And that research is both basic science in a laboratory and clinical research running clinical trials. And a few years back, I had an idea to try a new medicine in children with a rare disease called ALPS. And to get try any new medicine in any disease, you need to have an organization that's willing to help you with that. And Cures Within Reach was able to supply the funds that were needed to actually make it so the kids could get the drug. How do you feel when you see rapamycin impacting a rare disease? It's an amazing feeling. I mean, to ever see any medicine that actually can help a child and then to see something that you thought of yourself and kind of brought from the ground up um, to help a child is even better. The fact that it was a medicine that was already FDA approved and out there for other indications so it was easy to get to the patients made it that much easier to prescribe it and just a joy to see them responding and have a new, new and better quality of life. How long did it take you to get support for repurposing rapamycin? Once I had the idea, I looked at a number of funding agencies, both private foundations and for the National Institute of Health. Since it was a preliminary idea with not a ton of data to actually support it at the time, a lot of the bigger agencies weren't necessarily going to spend tons of money doing that. Um, and I found the partnership, or Cures Within Reach, um, formerly called Partnership for Cures, who was willing to to give me a chance to try it and after writing a grant and an application with them the whole process took about a year and then within two years of that the medicine was in kids and starting to work. So a very short period of time from idea to applying to giving it to patients.